be eight. I mean, I'm Mexican American, so you know I'm cool. But some people might find that kind of talk offensive. Dude, that's not my name. When I got home from work today, I was happy to see this little box of awesomeness waiting for me. This, of course, is the March Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty Box Cantina. So what I'm going to do is just open it up, show you everything that's inside real quick, because I can't wait to see myself. And then after I'm done with all that, I'll give you my real honest opinion about each item, show them to you up close, uh, let you know what I would buy, what I wouldn't buy in the store, and just give you my overall impression of this box at the end of the video. All right, so let's see. Okay, so it looks like the patch is Greedo, so that makes me think there's not gonna be another Greedo item in the box, which makes me happy. I like Greedo, but I didn't want a Greedo pop or anything like that. And the pin is one of the little band members. Oh, <laughs> cool. So I think this is the first time there's been a pop pen. Chewbacca. T-shirt, and it looks like we get two pops. We get a really cool Ben Kenobi and a Snaggletooth. All right, let me open this stuff up and show you a close look. Okay, so the first thing is the patch. You know, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the patches from all the boxes. I'm not really someone that puts patches on a bunch of stuff. I do like that this one doesn't say Smuggler's Bounty on it anywhere. It just says Star Wars. It's got Greedo on it. It's got this little landscape from Tatooine. I really do like that. And, I mean, it just says Most Eisley here, some alien language. It's a really nice patch. Um, I just don't see how I would use it, but I can appreciate how well made this is. I mean, once you trim up some of these loose hairs and everything, it should look really nice. The pin is also really high quality. All the Funko boxes have really nice patches and pins. It's pretty thick, really well made. I don't see how anybody would really want to wear just a pin of this little band member guy. So I think this is definitely made to go into a nice collection of pins. I like how it doesn't say Smuggler's Bounty on it. Really nice, really good looking piece. This little tiny Chewbacca just makes me laugh. It's actually kind of cool they included a pop pen. Um, that actually took me by surprise. I wasn't expecting that at all. Let's see. Just a regular pen. Nothing special about it. I'm actually not sure how much these cost. Like, I wouldn't see myself paying more than five bucks for this, though. I probably wouldn't get one at all. But I do think that this little Chewbacca is pretty cool. I'm glad it's him. Even though I don't remember Chewbacca doing much in the cantina scene. I think this is where a little, like a Han pen or even a Luke pen or one of the other members, maybe the little devil guy, would have been more appropriate. And I wish it was a bobblehead. Like, if any time a bobblehead was appropriate, it'd be on a pen. So, like, when you're writing, the head's bobbing around. That would have been funny to me. But, yeah, a little pop pen, Chewbacca. We get a black shirt this time, black and red. Great combination, black, red, and white. And it's like a wanted poster with Han on it. Caution issued by the Galactic Empire. Species human, male gender. Brown and brown for the hair and eye color. Really narrows it down, doesn't it? <laughs> brown hair, brown eyes, male. Wanted for smuggling. Pretty sure Han's done more than than smuggling to the to the Empire. But yeah, pretty cool. Black, probably much to the delight of nerds everywhere. I'm surprised it's not a a pop um, version of Han. Okay, so the first pop is Ben Kenobi, even though I think this is the best pop in there. I'm showing it to you first because Funko spoiled this one. They let us know that this was going to be inside of the box, even though on their blog it did say, you know, you know, warning, this is going to be a spoiler for what's in the box. I looked anyway because I know that even if I didn't look, eventually somebody would spoil it. You know, somebody on Facebook, on Tumblr, on here. Somewhere I would find out that it's Ben Kenobi. That said, I think this is a really cool pose for him. I'm really happy that they chose to do one with a lightsaber out like this and in holding it like that. Really, really cool. Kind of weird though that his lightsaber looks purple on the box. That just makes me want a Mace Windu pop so bad. They have such minor Star Wars characters out. 
but no Mace Windu. I don't know why. Maybe it's a licensing thing, but I really want a Mace Windu. I want some more Amidala Pops and a few other things from the prequels. I'm not a prequel hater. I enjoy them. Here's the side art and some of these older ones. Some pretty cool ones in this series. I really like the Jawa. I still want to get one. I don't have one. I think they might be unique to only pop to have like the jeweled eyes like that that I can remember. Really cool effect on that. Yeah, my box came in really excellent condition too. No dents, no bangs, nothing anywhere. And here's old Ben unboxed. And yeah, he is really cool. I really like this pose. The head's a little bit crooked, but when you're standing him like this, you can't really tell. And it actually makes sense. It looks like he's, you know, cocking his head towards his enemy, which I really like. Really, really think the pose is the best part of this pop. The sculpt on the head is really nice too. I just wish it would have been painted a little bit better. A lot of overspray from the hair on his ear on mine. Um, it's a little sloppy around his mouth too, around his hairline. Yeah, I just wish that the hairline was a little cleaner, but it's not too bad. And you can only really notice it when looking at it really, really close. This side is a little better. It's just this side that's kind of weak. But the sculpt is really good. Lightsaber is nice and straight on him. And I like the way they did his hands. Yeah, really cool pop. Really happy with this one. And Red Snaggletooth. I believe it's Red Snaggletooth because he's wearing a red suit. I think there might be one with a blue suit. Um, I, I remember that from the toys. So, yeah, I think that's the only significance of the red. And he's just called Snaggletooth. It's kind of weird that the Ben box is the old style Star Wars boxes, and this is the new style, like the Force Awakens ones. I really do like these colors better, the just the white logo on the black background and the red on the bottom. I don't know why they didn't just do that with Ben. I noticed his stand is also different. It's a new style stand, and Ben has the old style stand. Not sure what the thinking was there. Um, I wish they were both in these boxes. I wish all the new Star Wars pops just came in these boxes. Even if they reissue old ones, just put them in these boxes. I kind of like uniformity. And what makes it even weirder is that instead of Force Awakens characters here, they have the old characters. So I'm not sure what the, what the reason was for having this one in a new box and Ben in an old box. But yes, this box came in really pristine condition as well. So kudos to their packaging. This is just a printing flaw there. That's not anything major. Okay, so when it comes to minor characters in Star Wars, it doesn't get any more minor than this guy. Like, he doesn't even have a name. He's just called Snaggletooth because he's got a Snaggletooth. You know, the actor wearing the mask, the mask had a Snaggletooth on it. And that's why it's really called that. And I do believe the red is just because of the red uniform. But, you know, his sculpt is pretty cool. His paint job is really nice. It's way better than the Ben Kenobi paint job. The hairline's really, really good. And it's interesting sculpt on the hair. But yeah, this guy, I mean, he's one of those characters you could have seen A New Hope like 10, 20 times and still not have realized that this guy was in it. It's kind of a it's weird design overall. Um, I don't know why some guy with such a huge nostrils would want to live on a desert planet. He's probably picking sand out of his nose constantly. But yeah, he's, I mean, he's still pretty cool. I'm glad I have him. You know, I was really expecting it to be the guy that gets his arm cut off by Ben Kenobi. That's why I really thought it was going to be maybe a little obvious, but still would have been cool. You know, if they made a pop with a removable arm, kind of like they did with the Ned Stark character with the removable head. Or I thought, and my money would have been on the other guy that's that guy's friend that has kind of like that little front butt thing going on in his face, like a butt with like hair around it. Really kind of ugly design. But I think that's one that almost everybody instantly associates with the cantina scene is that guy and Ben Kenobi, of course. Um, the hammerhead alien would have been really cool, too. Um, so, yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed it's this guy, but I'm not disappointed by the execution of it because Funko did a really good job um, designing this character and uh, making him look pretty decent in pop form. They even did his little heels back here. But yeah, Blink, and you would never know this guy was in the movie. Okay, so overall for the Cantina box, there are a couple of things I really like. 
like the Ben Kenobi pop is awesome. I would immediately buy that in the store when I saw him, even if the paint job wasn't stellar, which it's not. Um, there's just a lot of face paint on his mustache. I'm a little disappointing. I'm not sure if they're all going to be that way. I'll have to look at some of the people I follow on uh, YouTube to see if their figures came out that way or not. Um, but yes, I really like that figure. I would buy him immediately. The red snaggletooth, I'm not sure if I would. Because, I mean, like right now, there's a couple of pops out there. There's, from The Force Awakens, there's one called, I think, a Varmic or something like that. But he's kind of like a grayish, monstery kind of looking guy. And then there's another guy with a big red helmet. Really cool designs on both of them. I mean, but I just didn't get them because I saw the movie twice and I still don't remember seeing those guys in the movie. Like, I understand that with Star Wars, especially with the three and three quarter inch figures, that was a big thing. You know, they started making every single possible character. And for some reason, for me, it works with the, with the small figures, the action figures, probably because they make every single character. With the pops is they leave out so many characters that when they make these super, super minor characters that I don't even remember. I, I feel like I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan and I don't even remember them. It's To me, they're a little too minor and I'd rather have pops of characters I actually remember. So I am not sure if I'd get that red snaggletooth. Maybe if it was the only one left in a collection and for some reason I just wanted to finish the collection even though sometimes I don't care about finishing collections. That might be the only way I'd get him. Um, but that said, he, he's well he's well made. I like that he's shorter than all the other ones. Um, so that's kind of cool. It's a little different. Uh, maybe there's big snaggletooth fans out there. I'm not one of them. The patch and pin, I wouldn't buy them by themselves just because I don't collect those things. I can appreciate how well they're made. This pen, though, I might pick up the pen. The, the pen's kind of cool. I wish the pen was a bobblehead, though, because I like the bobbleheads, and I think the, pen, the bobblehead on a pen would have been really funny. The t-shirt is a little too nerdy for my taste. Um, I just I just think it's a little dweeby. I wouldn't wear that in public. And um, I, I mean, I might wear it at home just to be comfortable, you know, just uh, for sleeping or just hanging out. But it's not something that I would personally buy myself. Uh, I would only probably take it if it was free. I would even pay a couple bucks for it just because I do think this design is just overall kind of dorky. But yeah, I'm still happy that we got two pops. I like when they include pops because that is the reason that we get these. Um, I do like the mugs too myself, but I wanted pops, so I'm glad with that. And yeah, overall, pretty good box. Not the best. I'd give it a 6 out of 10. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So you're not going to apologize? Not at all? <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, I would. <laughs>